Hi, this is Daniel. In today's video, we will learn how you can change your name servers or update your name servers for any of the service provider. So let's get started. In this video, we will look into Hostinger and GoDaddy. So first of all, moving on to Hostinger. Uh, you, you can also check the Black Friday sale. They have reduced their price to almost 80%. So you can go and check it out. Moving on, first of all, we will log in into our client area. Here, we'll enter our username and password, email and password. They will take you to the C panel. Or their edge panel. So uh, this is the place you can look around. This is a place. It's similar to the C panel in most of the cases. Most of the service providers give us like a C panel, and in Hostinger's case, they provide us with the edge panel. So it's a very good initiative by Hostinger. So this is a place here in the domain. Uh, here we can see home, hosting, emails, and domains. So we will move on to domains. And here is a domain incpublishers.com. I'll just click on this. Here I can see the domain information status is active, email verification status is verified, expires at this date, secret key, and finally the name servers. So, this is a place where we can find the name servers. So, ns1dnsparking.com these are basically Hostinger's name servers because I've purchased this domain from Hostinger and this website isn't hosted anywhere so they have put their name servers in it so to change it I'll just click on change here they are giving us the option to change the name servers so let's say it's given like ns1dnsparking.com so let's say I want to host this site on Poster PK, so I'll use Poster PK's name server. So these uh, they are n one dot poster pk dot com, and if I'll just copy this and paste this, so now the website is posted. So now if I'll just save this, my website will now be hosted to. Poster PK. So now you can see the name servers have been changed. It might take up to 24 to 48 hours. It will take around to the domain to propagate to the new name servers. So if I just if I want to host the site on Poster PK, I can easily do that by just creating a website over there and installing WordPress on any other CMS I want to. So now moving on to GoDaddy. I'll just go to the client area of this. First of all, I'll sign in. I've already signed into this panel. So, this is a website where we can find. So, in the domain names, I'll just click on domains, domain name, search for domain name, transfer domain name, protect domain name, browse domain name, options, find a domain name. So, let's just find where our domain is. So we'll go to our account settings, my products. And in the products, I can find my domain there, digitalgroup.com. The production plan is full privacy. So to change the name servers of this, what I had to do is I'll just click on manage. Here, I can find all the information, all the necessary information that is required for us. So, if I just move it downwards, so I can find a manage DNS option. So, if I just click on this,
Here I can find the records. We can display your DNS record because your name servers aren't managed by us. So uh, before the time I was building this website, I changed my name servers to Hoster PK. So and then I shifted my website to Cloudflare. So these are these are the name servers of my website. Chat uh, NS Cloudflare. So basically, Cloudflare I have told in my earlier video that. It is a CDN that allows you to just make your website faster and host to the nearest server. So this is a very good option if you want to improve your website speed and make it more user, make the user experience more greater. So you can go with this. So to change the name servers, I just click on change. If I again want to change this name, so I can add my name servers or with or I can go with the GoDaddy name servers. So I'll just add this for now to show you. So let's just paste that poster PK's name servers and again I can add my name servers in it. And two. So if I'll click on save. My hoster, my website will not go anywhere because it will be again hosted to hoster PK because the Cloudflare would be remo removed. So if I'll just go with the GoDaddy name servers, so in that case my website will be gone. Like because uh, it's not, it will not be hosted on hoster PK. So the website will be gone. Like in in some time. So to do that, to avoid this, we will just uh, stay with the name servers we have it for now. I'll just click on cancel. So this is how you can change your name servers and and hosting or and go ready. So where can you find this name servers? You might be thinking of. So to find the name servers, I just show you in hostinger.com. You can go to help and search here for name servers. So here you can find the name servers of Hostinger, how to point domain name to Hostinger, domain to Hostinger, change name servers to. So if I am hosting a site that I want to host a site to Hostinger.com and I have the domain linked to GoDaddy, for example, I'm saying that. So for example, I'll just change the name servers in GoDaddy to this. So ns dns one parkingcom so I'll just go to my DNS settings in uh, GoDaddy and just change it here. So I'll remove the chat CNS and I'll just paste these name servers over here ns1dns over here and then I can host my site to hosting it. So that's a very easy process. You can just do it on your own or you can call us at or just visit us the digital group.com it's up to you so that's enough it from the video till then take care and keep watching gtech tv